What's up, guys? This is Quante, and welcome back to Let's Mess Around on Quante World. Wait, time for a change of pace. This isn't Super Talking Time Bros 2. Well, mainly, the reason I'm going to be showing off my game again is because I don't really have anything to record for Talking Time Bros since I haven't practiced it. And god, I have a lot of other people's games. And Talking Time Bros 2, and a whole nother folder, and all that stuff. So, yeah. But let's start mine, because I've actually made a few renovations to certain things. Like World 3, but World 3 isn't of importance right now, mainly because you haven't really seen very much of it. At all. It's more about World 2, since that was actually shown in the last episode. And look at it, it has gone over a major change. And the reason I, you know, did everything over is mainly because I kind of figured out how to get warps to work on the world map to where you can, you know, transport between world to world and stuff like that, thanks to my good friend Starman Ness. <laughs> You know, he actually recommended me to use this Mario Bros. 3 system of, you know, transportation, and it actually ended up working. So, you know, this whole pipe system is actually really good for me, and I actually got it to work, and then, you know, I actually redid the entire landmass from World, you know, 3 as well. So, this looks different, even though you really didn't get to see very much of it, I mean... It looks a lot better than it did before, and if you haven't noticed already, the character sprites in the top left corner also look different, since I used the Talking Time Bro sprites, you know, just so everything would look fresh, but hey, some gameplay probably after about two minutes, haha! <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna be showing off most of what I did with World 3 this episode, and World 4 is actually just a work in progress. You know, I haven't really done very much with it, and I haven't worked on it as much as I usually would have liked to. Mainly because I kind of have that feeling where I know that I know so much more about the level editor than I did when I first used it. And even though, like, most of my early levels aren't bad, I feel like since I know so much more, I could have done, you know, so much more, and I kind of want to start new on a, you know, a fresh project, but I've already gotten so far in this one that I kind of don't want to stop, and I've been working on it slowly but surely, I guess I could say. Like, I haven't really been coming up with a lot of great ideas for, you know, a forest world, because that's exactly what World 4 is. And, oh, not freezes. <laughs> I hate freezes. Oh, there we go. Well, I had lost my hammer suit thanks to that. Or should I say bomb suit? Whatever. But god, I hate lag spikes like that. That always ticks me off. And wow, I have 30 lives in my own game in World 3. That's that's a thing. Okay. Well, let's go to... Wait, that, that level name... <laughs> that level name, I need to change it. Because that was just not a good level name. I tried to base all my level names after stuff that has to do with ice or ice cream. <laughs> but that, for some reason... That, that just wasn't a good idea for this level. Like, I was gonna put shaved something, like shaved ice, but you know, there are too many perverted minds out there for me to even put something that has to do with shaving there. So, yeah, this level name will probably get changed within, you know, the near future, since, you know, it just doesn't sound right to some people, you know. <laughs> Nothing can be very... I don't really know. The level name's gonna be changed in the future, that's all you really need to know. And a great deal of the music that I've using has actually worked, like the custom music, mainly because I've gotten it out of just random level um, GFX things that I've downloaded, or simply, you know, just music that I've put in on my own has actually been working. <laughs> You know, it's very surprisingly that, like, not all the music I want works, because the custom music thing, I, it just doesn't like certain MP3 tracks, which I kind of hate, because I wish I could use every MP3 that I simply wanted to, and that'd make this a lot more enjoyable, but that doesn't always work, which kind of annoys me. But, like, this track, you know, this new Super Mario Bros. Wii, you know, snow level track, I tried to use it before, and it didn't work. And then for some reason, like, I downloaded a level GFX pack and it had this music in it, and then it works. And so I don't really get that. Because <laughs> it, I, I don't really know, I guess since it's a different MP3 or something, I, I don't really know what has to do with, you know, what determines if the MP3 on the SMBX um, thing will actually work. 
But I wish I did, because then I'd use you know, all the MP3s that I simply felt like using all the time. But no, I I'm just not good enough. Not at all. And wow, I'm just speeding through these levels because I have Peach and she can fly. That's sort of a thing. But most of these levels are just pretty mediocre. Like, I know so much more about, you know, all the stuff that I can do in terms of layering and all that stuff. Like, mainly due to the fact that, not that I've been doing a ton of research, but mainly just me and, you know, my friends who do this too, have actually just sort of found all of it out by ourselves. I mean, just by toying around with it and different things like that. And sooner or later, I actually want to make a collab, you know, with pretty much anyone else who does this that's, you know, a fellow Boogaloo Shrimp, even though there's only a select few of us that do, um, actually make Mario Bros. X levels, like Starman Ness, Blonde Bros. Bar, and 8S Black, or 8S Black, whatever you want to call him. But we're pretty much the only ones in Boogaloo Shrimp who actually, you know, toy around with the, the program and stuff like that, and actually sort of record it and put it on our channels. Even though I don't think Bar or Starman Ness have yet, but whatever. This is the boss of this level, and it was a very terrible idea to put two of these guys here. <laughs> Look at this, everything's exploding. Oh god, yeah. That was a terrible idea. I think if I just let them sit there long enough, they'd actually kill each other. I heard that sort of thing happen when Adis Black was playing, but yeah. You only really have to kill one of these guys, because I actually only made it, so you have to kill one, and then the level exit will spawn after you kill him. You know, that whole layering thing I found out about. And I'm glad I found out about that, because now I can actually make, you know, bosses make level exits when they die. So, in terms of, you know, castles, that's a really useful thing to know. And who's Sonic 4 Episode 2 music? Why is that in the Mario game? Have I betrayed Nintendo using Sega's music in the game? I don't really think so. I actually think the level suits this um the music suits the level. No, that was gonna be totally backwards. Jeez. What was I thinking in terms of level placement? Now I was thinking about using a different character, but then I realized Peach is absolutely perfect for this level. So I'm gonna continue to use her. Just as I do in Talking Time Bros, because I don't know, for some reason Peach is just the character to use all of a sudden. You know, even more so than Luigi or someone like that. And why do I keep dying? Even though I do have 30 lives to spare, I can just go at this all day. I can go at this all day, me. Past me. I hate you, past me. What were you thinking when designing a level like this? I do not know. You know, that, that is truly a fiasco for Scoob and the gang, but whatever. I, I can pretty much memorize the placement of the bullet bills anyway since I'm the one who designed the level versus someone who's playing this completely blind and probably dying on it all the time. I don't know. And yeah! Who knew it'd be hard to come up with commentary for something you made, you know? A let's play of your own game is hard to commentate over? Oh my god. And the secret start of this level <laughs> is in that pipe. But I am... What? I died. I was, I was low to the ground. I'm small, Peach. Why did I die? I don't know. But the, the, the level... The, the... The... Yeah. The secret exit... The, the thing was through that pipe. And you actually need a, a raccoon power up to get it. No matter what character you're using, I guess. You can pretty much get up there and get the secret star. But I made it so you have to have the raccoon power up. And it's gonna be, I guess, quite difficult to get through there? And maybe I should skip this level. I'm not really sure. I mean, oh no, I'll go at it one more time. I have to skip my own level. No, I'm not doing that. Even though I keep dying and I don't want to do this anymore. Because I am just stupid when it comes to the level design. Ah, maybe, maybe my B-Bill placement is a little off. I need to fix that. Need to fix it real good. So many retarded references that I've made in this this small little let's mess around. But I guess <laughs> I really shouldn't be getting mad because this is a let's mess around. This isn't a part of any initial let's play. I don't have to be perfect on this. Could fail as much as I want to. Screw you guys. <laughs> Screw all of you. Offend the viewer, Quante. Offend the viewer. No. 
okay, actually go through this. I guess if you really wanted to, you could actually, you know, jump on bullet bills using that system and get up there if you didn't have a raccoon power up. That's actually unintentional genius, <laughs> but whatever, you know. I, that's just something I noticed, but I guess if you didn't manage to get there without a raccoon power up, you could. <laughs> You could do that, but that was the end of the level anyway, so I'm just gonna show the rest of this off so this level doesn't get too long. And it was Sonic CD music, even though I don't think this this theme matches this level at all. But it, it sort of has that jingle in the background, so that's why I decided to use it. Mainly because of that fact, I don't really know. It's not really snow level music per se, it's more like crystalline cave music, if you, if you will. But let's go through here. In Cave Story. I was actually really glad this worked, so I can use this for boss themes now. And why why do I keep using double boss you know, double mini bosses? When is that is that ever gonna get old to me? Not really sure, but this this is the same sort of ordeal with the the Birdos, you know. Same thing as the Mausers, you only really have to kill one of them to really get what you need. And you need this key. And I decided to implement a key puzzle in this simply just because, you know, I hadn't used anything that involved keys yet. Not even secret exits. I did, like, my first secret exit in World 4, and that's actually pretty terrible. But yeah, I used the keys to get through here. So if you would have came all the way over here, you would have been wasting your time because you didn't have a key. And oh, why, Lakitu, you son of a gun, even though I'm the one who put you there. But I guess if you just keep on going, he can't really do anything to you. Since the throwing arc he has sort of just goes eff freaking everywhere. Or not, you know. If I keep moving, I'll probably more likely to get hit. Oh well, that's the end of the level. At least I actually managed to complete this level. Unlike my other freaking other one. My other freaking other one. I do good at grammar. But let's go to the mini boss rush. You know. Mini boss rushes are completely acceptable in games. Looks like all the mini bosses have fled to this one castle. Can you defeat them all? I think I can. And ooh, look, more cave story music and a single birdo. So I pretty much compiled every mini boss into the game into this one castle, which isn't very many, you know. It's mainly just Mauser, Birdo, and Boom Boom. I consider those mini bosses, so that's kind of what I did and put power-ups in between rooms after you defeat them. It's not like one straightforward boss rush, no power-ups, you know, it's all the way hard, sort of thing like that, you know. I, I was kind of lenient and put power-up rooms in between, you know, even a life somewhere in this room, I can't really remember, but it, yeah, there it is, you know, if you want to look around, that is. In my <laughs> Partners in Time music, I should have actually used this, um, this soundtrack throughout the entire level instead of the cave story one because that sudden music change is kind of weird actually oh well you know it's all good in the neighborhood and the double mauser thing is just kind of weird and wow I accidentally killed the mauser I was supposed to first so that's a thing and <laughs> die you mother trucker yeah make, make those pipes appear and I put the halfway point before the boss that you actually need to complete the, you know, beat the entire level. You know, I wasn't gonna be a dick and make you have to fight all three bosses if you just so happen to die or something. You know, I didn't want to be like that, no. You know, I wanted to make them, make this somewhat playable. But yeah, that's the end of that. I wonder, should I do one more level. I've already wasted a lot of time, I guess you could say. Oh well. This is Sylvania Forest. I guess I could show off World 4 before I actually end up this episode, and then just show the rest of World 4 whenever it's done, but this is what I have done pretty much so far. You know, only a few levels. There's still black off to the side, so that's how you can tell I'm not even done with the world map in general. You know, it's still lots of empty space, and screen cap house, that's, that's not something you're supposed to see just yet. But yeah, I guess whenever this is done, I'll show this off, so I guess I'll see you guys later.